Hey, you found my video. Just came back from the trip. And I realized my furnace is uh, broken. So after some debugging, I was able to fix it. So today I'm going to show you how to fix it um, if your um, furnace happened to have a switch, pressure switch related problem. So it's very simple. Uh, you should really do this kind of things uh, before you call the electricians. So first of all, the, generally speaking, you will see two parts of your furnace. The top part is the PCB. Bottom part, you can see um, tunnel switch and other stuff, right? And uh, if it's not working, um, generally speaking, you on the light in here, the ember light that you saw, you will start blinking um, and give some kind of patterns. Uh, for my case, it was blinking at the three creep blink with the two long blink. It was a three two fashion. Then you're going to look at the uh, the menu that usually is, is on the, the top covered. On the menu, it says that it was the LPS pressure switch cannot open or cannot reopen, cannot close or cannot reopen. So that was the symptom. So, so we know that there's something wrong with the OPS pressure switch. Okay, so after, after some digging, here are the things that you should do. And it's very simple. First, you need to identify what is the, the uh, pressure switch. In general speaking, it looks more or less like this. This is a pressure switch. So what you need to do is first of all, recheck the electric wire Make sure those are still attached. The second of all is look at the intake, intake and uh, also the, the output cable wire attached to the switch. Remove that to make sure there's nothing clogging inside of the pipe. So in this case, I was able to find that on this kind of pipe, I detached exactly here. When I detach, there's water coming out of the pipe. It was clogged, right? So right after I, I wiped those water and replug in this wire, I was able to fix it. So it's very simple. Three things you need to do. Just look at this electric wire, make sure it's attached. Then look at the input and output pipe, make sure there's nothing clogged inside of the pipe. There should not be water or ice inside of it. All right, so if we do that, it's still not fixing it. Um, maybe check something that's more obvious, right? Just, um, is there anything that's actually blocking the intake? Um, in this case, uh, Another first thing to do is make sure you have a, you, you replace the air filter. And uh, so it's, that's not, that's not the cause of the problem. And you should kind of go outside of the house, look at where those, uh, where the, where the location of those air coming in to make sure there's nothing blocking, there's no blockage there. Yeah, so, so after all this, if you cannot fix it, I think it's time to call the electricians.